Medicare rate, what would happen? And he very quickly said, well, we close, which is the same answer I get from every hospital. So that's how I would fix healthcare. Long-winded answer. Yes, sir. Hi, thanks. My name is Tim, Tim, La right? Tim LaChapelle. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <clears throat> Um, I really admire your ability to go across the aisle and build consensus and actually get things done. Uh, I think that's what we need as president. But I'm afraid that like Republicans in the national stage aren't really playing that game. They're not. Uh, in 2016, they banned a su or they blocked a Supreme Court nomination yep. from even getting a hearing in Merrick Garland. Yep. And the two that have been appointed since then are pretty far to the right, I would say. Um, I wouldn't say they represent the views of the American people. Um, and I'm concerned that even if Democrats win back the House, the Senate, and the White House in 2020, some of their accomplishments could be rolled back or just stopped entirely. Um, so when elected, will you support real progress uh, by increasing the number of Supreme Court nominees to 13 and trying to restore balance to what's become a pretty reliably partisan institution? Good question. And when you when you say reliably partisan institution, what, what, which institution do you mean? Because that could apply. To a lot well, I would of say the Supreme Court has turned into a reliably partisan, and it you know we yeah. can't just change it by electing new people. Part of the problem with the Supreme Court right now is that, and you got to bear with me for a second when I say this. Part of the problem with the Supreme Court is how broken Congress is. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. So a few years ago, the Supreme Court was asked to decide whether greenhouse gases were actually covered under the Clean Air Act. That should never be a question that goes to the Supreme Court. That should be decided by legislators who actually pass laws dealing with greenhouse gases. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that's happened to our country is we've allowed the Supreme Court to become actually too powerful, just like we've allowed the president to become too powerful. Right, so really this country right now is run by the courts and executive authority. It is not run by the first branch of government, which is the Congress of the United States, which under Article One is empowered to actually deal with all these things. But because they're so gridlocked and broken, they don't. We are never gonna get our country back on track unless we address that. So I'm not a big believer in the arms race of increasing the Supreme Court size, because you know what'll happen? What happens when a Republican then ultimately wins? Right. Like, Harry Reid, and I understand why he did it. He decided to take away the filibuster rule on judges because they were, weren't appointing enough Obama judges. How did those two people just get put on the court? From the 50 Because we don't have the filibuster. So my point is, these things go both ways. If we actually want to get our country back on track, we have to take back our democracy. That doesn't mean getting in bed with a bunch of Republicans in Congress who engaged in unpatriotic behavior, which is what Mitch McConnell did. Yeah. Right? I define patriotism as putting your country ahead of your own self-interest. Yeah. Mitch McConnell, when Barack Obama was sworn into office, and he sat there in his big spacious Senate office and said, I'm going to block everything he does to hurt him politically. That was unpatriotic, in my judgment. It's one thing to say, hey, you know, we got to position ourselves to beat him, etc. But if he wants to do things that are good for the American people, we're going to work with him. That's what you should say. And that's what we got to restore. And this case has to be taken to the American people. We need a president to run on this, because it's what the country needs. Because if, if, if the relationship between the executive branch and the Congress continues to be as broken as it is right now, then the trajectory of this country is not particularly great. Because it'll be run by executive authority being stretched and stretched and stretched. And the courts, who will increasingly have to decide things that they actually don't want to decide. Like, are greenhouse gases covered by the Clean Air Act? Like, that is just not what the Supreme Court should be deciding. Mm -hmm. They should decide, Congress passed a law regulating greenhouse gases. Is it constitutional? That's what they're supposed to decide. Not like whether, et cetera. So that's how I think about it. We have to reestablish these basic norms, which doesn't mean you become some wishy-washy cut deals that don't make sense for the American people. 
But what it does mean, for example, when you're trying to do something on climate, like I will do in my first year, I will pass a bipartisan carbon tax. Because that's the only way you get anything passed, by the way. Everything we celebrate in this country, Medicare, Social Security, all of it, was done when there was significant majorities of the American people supported it, and it was done bipartisan in the Congress. I introduced the only bipartisan carbon tax, the only bipartisan climate bill I introduced. And I got Republicans in coastal states, not Republicans in the middle of the country, Republicans in coastal states. So I'm wired to get things done. So like on climate, I'll get it done with every Democrat and the Republicans in coastal states, because they have to do something about it. Because they live in, you know, Marco Rubio and Rick Scott are two Republican senators who live in Florida. Do you know what percentage of Republicans in Florida support action on climate? 70% of Republicans. So that's how you gotta be wired. Thank you. Right. Yes, ma'am. I see income inequality as one of the biggest threats to our country. Yep. As president, what steps would you, what first steps would you take to address this threat to our future? So you have to 